Hello, Gilbert Chi Mangampo from BSBA FM Ko 11. Our lesson for today is measure of position for ungrouped data. A measure position determines the position of single value in a relation to other value in a sample or population data set, like quartile, decile, and percentile. Quartile. Quartile are the values that divide into four equal parts. Lower quartile, middle quartile, upper quartile. Quartiles use a Mendeleev's Nietzsche method. Rules and formula on how to compute. N is equal the total number of data. Quartile 1 equals 0 0.25 times N plus 1. If lower quartile falls halfway between two integers, round up the answer. Quartile 2, median, equals 0 0.5 times n plus 1. Quartile 3, upper quartile, equals 0 0.75 times n plus 1. If upper quartile falls up way between two integers, round down the answer. Example, find the quartile of score of 10 college students in their 30 item English quiz, given data set. 8, 5, 12, 10, 16, 20, 26, 30, 23. So, i-arrange natin yung given data set. Bibilangin natin para makuha natin yung n. So, n equals 9. So, quartile 1. Formula. So, yung n, pinalitan lang natin ng 9. So, magiging 10. 0 0.25 times 10. So, magiging 2.5. So, round up. Magiging 3 siya. The lower quartile is the third data set. So, bibilang natin, natin dito sa given data set, yung pang third. So, yung pang third is 10. So, quartile 1 equals 10. Quartile 2 or median. Formula. So, mapapalitan ulit yung n ng 9. Magiging 10, 0 0.5 times 10 equals 5. The median is the fifth data. So, bibila natin yung pang fifth. So, yung pang fifth ay 16. So, quartile 2 equals 16. Next, quartile 3, upper quartile. So, formula again. Yung n ulit, pinalitan natin ng 9, magiging 10. So, 0 0.75 times 10 equals 7.5. So, round down. Magiging 7. The upper quartile is the 7 data. So, bibilang natin yung pang 7 dito sa given data set. Which is 23. So, quartile 3 equals 23. Quartiles using linear interpolation method. Number 1, find the difference between two data in which the decimal from is in between. Number 2, Multiply the result by the decimal part obtained. Number 3. Add the answer in step 2 to the smaller number. Example. A group of female students obtained the following score in home economic quiz. 10, 7, 1, 7, 6, 2, 4, 9, 6. So, in arrange ulit natin yung given data. So, n equals 9. Quartile 1. So, yung formula. Magiging 2.5 siya. Yung 2.5, nasa pagitan ng 2 and 4. So, 4 minus 2 equals 2. So, yung 2 na sagot natin, ilagay natin dyan. Times 0.5. Yung 0.5, galing siya sa 2.5. So, yung 0.5, ayun, kinuha natin. So, magiging 2 times 0.5 equals 2. 1. So, 2, itong 2 galing sa given data set, itong naunang number. So, 2 plus 1 equals 3. So, quartile 1 equals 3. So, quartile 3, upper quartile naman tayo. So, yung formula, magiging 7.5 siya. So, pang ilan yung 7.5 dito sa given data set? Nasa pagitan siya ng 7 and 9. So, 9 minus 7 equals equals 2. So, yung 2, 
times 0.5 kasi doon ulit galing sa 7.5 yung 0.5 nun ginamit natin so 2 times 0.5 equals ano magiging sagot 1 so 7 ginamit natin yung 7 doon sa given data set itong nauna so 7 plus 1 equals 8 so quartile 3 equals 8 decile Decile are the values that divide into 10 equal parts. So, ito yung formula on how to compute. DK equals K over 10 times N plus 1. So, K is the position of decile and N is the total number of data. The DepEd collects data of age of student who did not enroll this year 2020-2021 because of the COVID-19. And this study is the following. 20, 18, 16, 7, 9, 12, 14, 10, 6, 19. So, hahanapin natin yung decile 2, 6, and 7. So, in-arrange ulit natin yung given data set. N equals 10. So, here's the formula. So, decile 2 equals 2 over 10 times 10 plus 1 equals 2 over 10 times 11 magiging 2.2. So, naging 2 siya. So, hanapin natin yung 2 dito sa given data set. 1, 2. So, number 7. So, decile 2 equals 7. Decile 6 is equals to 6 over 10 times 10 plus 1 equals 6 over 10 times 11. So, 6.6. .6, so, Round up, magiging 7. So, hanapin natin yung 7 dito sa given data set. Okay. Pang 16 siya. So, decile 6 equals 16. Decile 7. Decile 7 equals 7 over 10 times 10 plus 1 equals 7 over 10 times 11 equals 7.7. .7. So, mag-round up siya, magiging 8. So, yung pang 8 dito ay... 18. So, decile number 7 equals 18. Percentile. Percentiles are the value that divide into 100 equal parts. So, to compute the position of percentile, use this formula. Percentile K equals K over 100 times M plus 1. So, K is a position of percentile N is equals the total number data. The following are the score in math test 20, 5, 9, 16, 11, 3, 7, 10, 13, 18. Find the value corresponding to the 25th percentile. So, i-arrange lang ulit natin yung given data set. N is equals to 10. So, here's a formula again. So, Percentile 25 equals 25 over 100 times 10 plus 1 equals 25 over 100 times 11 equals 2.75. So, magiging 3 siya. So, bilang natin yung 3 dito. 1, 2, 3. So, 7. Percentile 25 equals 7. Percentile rank. The percentile corresponding to a given value x is computed by using this formula. Percentile rank of x equals number of value below x plus 0 0.5 over n times 100. Find the percentile rank of test score of 35 in data set 70, 20, 46, 25, 68, 30, 50, 31, and 35. So, arrange lang ulit natin. So, n equals to 9. Use this formula. So, ang percentile Rank natin is 35. So, percentile rank of 35 equals yung number of value below x ay yun yung mga naunang number sa 35. So, apat sila. So, 4 plus 0 0.5 over 9 kasi yung n natin is 9 times 100 is equals to 50%. So, percentile rank of test score 35 is 50%. So, another example on how to compute. The following are score in math test 20, 9, 6, 15, 9, 4, 14, 10, 12, 2. Find the value corresponding to 16 percentile. So, in a range ulit, n equals 10. So, 
So, ayan yung formula. So, yung 16, ayan yung percentile. 16 over 100 times 10 plus N equals 1.76. So, magiging 2. Bilang natin yung 2 dito sa given data set. So, 4. The 16 percentile is the second value which is 4. So, thank you for watching.